In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a window motor and regulator assembly on your Subaru Forester. This will be located behind the door panel. Let's get started. Using a flat blade screwdriver or small pick, open up the trim door behind the handle. Behind there will be a Phillips head screw. Using a Phillips head bit, remove the screw. Using a trim tool, we're going to pop out this door handle trim. Remove the trim. Inside of the door handle cubby is going to be one more trim cover. Open that. Under there will be one more Phillips head screw. Remove the screw. Lift up the window switch. Pop it out of place. Remove the two connectors. Remove the two connectors. We're going to push on the release tab. Pull the connector out. Do the same thing on the one in the back. Remove the window switch. Remove the trim for the side mirror. We're going to use a plastic trim tool. Get under the top, pry it back, pull it out of position. If you have a tweeter option, you'll have to remove the connector. The push button for the connector is right here. Push on that, remove the connector for the tweeter, put it off to the side. Using a plastic trim tool, we're going to go around the door card, popping up all of the clips. Once you have all of the clips popped out, we're going to lift straight up on our door card and remove it from the vehicle. Remove the plastic clip. Remove the connector for the mirror. Push on the tab, pull straight up, remove the connector. Remove the connector for the front door speaker. Push on the tab, pull it out. There's our push tab. There's going to be three Phillips head screws to remove the speaker. Remove the front door speaker. Remove the two Phillips head screws for the bracket. Remove the bracket. Remove the plastic connector out of the door. I went through the speaker hole with my arm and on the back side pushed on these two tabs and then pulled it out through the front. We're going to pull the vapor barrier down. You can use a razor blade to help you separate it from the butyl tape. We don't want to cut the vapor barrier. Do the same thing on the other side. Don't yank on this, just keep giving it nice, easy pressure. We're going to pull it all the way to the bottom of the door and then leave this bottom strip. Connect the window switch to the connector. With the key in the on position, we're going to put our window down. Roll the window all the way down until you can see the 10 millimeter nuts for the window glass. You can either leave the window switch connected or remove it. The 
using a flat blade screwdriver, push on all of the tabs and remove the plastic trim. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the four bolts and remove the mirror and the gusset. I used a piece of the butyl tape and put it in my socket so I don't lose the bolts. There's one through here. And this is our last one. Remove the mirror and gusset assembly. Remove the 10 millimeter nut through the speaker hole. Loosen the two 10 millimeter nuts. Pull the bracket off of the window stud. Pull straight up on the window. Let the window down gently and we're going to install a flat blade screwdriver under it. This is going to rest against the inside support bar. Very gently put the window down. If you have something plastic that can work for this, use that. This is the only tool we have that'll work. Remove the connector for the window motor. Push on the tab, pull the connector down. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the two bottom bolts for the motor. We're going to loosen the top one, but not fully remove. Remove the two 10 millimeter nuts. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt for the window motor. When pulling up this glass, you can fully remove it. That is what the manufacturer recommends. However, there is a workaround. We're going to use a pair of clamps to hold up our glass while we work on our window regulator. Remove the two 12 millimeter nuts. There's one more on the bottom under our vapor barrier behind the rubber gasket. Remove all three nuts. Push it back. And pull the regulator out of the black support. Remove the rail, lift up on the window motor, pull the bolt out of the door, and remove the window regulator and motor assembly from the car. Remove the bolt out of the old regulator, install it into the new regulator in the same position. Install the assembly into the car. Get that top bolt seated in that little groove. Install the two studs through the door. Get the nut started.
install the rail, get the window regulator wheel started into this rail, install the top two studs through the door, get the nut started. Install the rail through the bottom and get the nut started. Get the three bolts started for the window motor. Get the holes lined up and install the short bolts. Go around and snug down all of the bolts. And nuts. You're going to see a mark on the door where the nut used to sit. We're going to try and line that right back up. Do the same thing on the rail. You're going to see the old spots for the nuts. Try and line them up the best you can. Don't forget the one on the bottom. We're going to grab our glass and remove our clamps. We took our mirror out here so that this clamp would sit flat on the glass. It wouldn't be pulling on the rubber of the mirror. Drop the glass down into place. Line up the bracket. Drop the studs on. Pull the bottom bracket forward so you can install the stud on the left. Get the nut started through the speaker hole. Snug it down. Snug down the two nuts in the middle. Grab the connector for the window motor. Install it onto the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. With everything connected, we're going to install our window switch and test out our window regulator and motor. We'll remove our switch one last time and continue putting everything back together. Install the plastic guard. Make sure all of the tabs snap into place. We're going to install the vapor barrier. Pull your harnesses through. Install the mirror assembly.
Make sure your stud is popping out on the bottom. Get the nut started. We have that little piece of butyl tape in our socket so that we don't lose our bolts when we're putting it through the door. We're going to install the three bolts. Get these started by hand. Go through and snug them all down. Install the rubber piece. There is a small grommet right here that'll fit into that hole. You'll have to pull it over, but you'll feel it click in almost. Pull the vapor barrier up, get all your harnesses started through it. Pull it up into place, sticking it back down. Install the side mirror connector into the door. Install the connector for the mirror. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Continue on the right side, putting up our vapor barrier. If you're having trouble sticking this back down, you can source new butyl tape. You can also just run a piece of waterproof tape around the outside. Just make sure you don't cover these clip holes. This yellow should just snap right into place. Ours is broken, so we're going to be using a plastic clip. Install the speaker. Install the screws for the speaker. Make sure they're nice and snug. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. Install the bracket and the screws. If you have any of your clips popped out while removing the door panel, if they're broken, replace them. If they just popped out, go ahead and pop them back in. We're going to install the door panel on top first and push it down. Pull the harness for the window switch out. We're going to line up all of the clips around and snap them into place. Install the connectors to the window switch and the door lock. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give them a pull. Make sure they're locked in. Install the front first. Push down into place, and then continue backwards. Install the Phillips head screw. You may have to lift that trim door up again. Close that little trim door, just push straight down, it'll click into place. Install the screw for the door handle. 
close the trim. Install the door handle gusset. Start it on the bottom, hinge it to the top, and click it into place. Install the connector into the cover. It'll clip into place. If you have the tweeter, go ahead and install it into the speaker. Line it up with these tabs, push it straight into place, and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.